When it comes to travel, world leaders do it best. From lavish gold-plated limousines to super huge private jets, let's begin today's video on the top 15 most impressive presidential vehicles. Number 15, Air Force One. All right, kicking off our list of impressive presidential vehicles is probably the most recognized VIP aircraft in the world, the United States President's Air Force One. It served American presidents for decades and is a winged White House. And while any aircraft carrying the president uses the call sign Air Force One, the current aircraft is the Boeing 747-200, more commonly referred to as the VC-25A. The plane comes with plenty of defense systems to keep everyone safe, including a radar jammer, countermeasures to disrupt heat-seeking missiles, and holds extensive communication facilities with the most up-to-date hardware. Air Force One can also be refueled mid-flight, so it can stay in the air as long as it needs to be. And while Air Force One serves more of a functional purpose, it still offers 4,000 square feet with plenty of lounges, conference rooms, a hospital, two galleys serving gourmet food, and the presidential suite. The aircraft has recently been remodeled under Donald Trump, and the overhaul cost about $1.4 billion. This new and improved jet comes in at 200 feet long with a 5,000 square foot interior. Not only is it larger than an NBA basketball court, but it's the longest passenger plane in the world. Its state-of-the-art wings and engines give it 17% more power and allow the aircraft to take off and land on incredibly short runways and reach speeds of Mach 1, just in case the POTUS needs to move quickly. It's the fastest passenger jet aircraft to date and probably the most important plane in existence. Number 14. Vladimir Putin's Aura Senate even though he may have fewer vehicles in his convoy, Vladimir Putin's motorcade is one of the more expensive ones. But just because there aren't as many cars accompanying him doesn't mean it's any less impressive. Putin rides around in a custom-built limousine, the Aura Senate, and it was designed specifically for the president by the engineering teams at Porsche and Central Scientific Research Automobile and Automotive Engines Institute, or NAMI for short. The Aura Senate weighs in at a whopping 6 tons, and it's an insane 23 feet long. There's plenty of room for Putin, his friends, colleagues, and of course, personal bodyguards and the Russian Secret Service. The car is equipped with an extensive amount of security features, which unfortunately for the rest of us, the Russian government keeps a tightly guarded secret. The Senate is powered by a 4.4-liter V8 engine and can even serve as an off-road vehicle if the need arises. It costs about 10 million bucks. You can pretty much get a mansion for that, but Putin's convoy also consists of three Mercedes G-Classes, which are a luxury SUV that can handle pretty much any type of terrain and has a top speed of 137 miles an hour. It is the perfect car for a presidential pursuit, and each vehicle of its own costs over $140,000. Finally, there's the police detail of just six motorcycles to clear roads and monitor the crowds. It may not be the most elaborate convoy in the world, but the cars are definitely fit enough for a Fast and Furious cameo. Number 13. Theresa May's Jaguar XJ Sentinel Former British Prime Minister Theresa May is one of the few heads of state to bring the cost of their personal convoy car to less than a million dollars. But that doesn't mean she skimped out, because she was still riding in a Jaguar XJ Sentinel. This isn't the Jaguar you can just drive right off the lot, though. Theresa May's Jaguar was designed for just her and outfitted with Kevlar backing and blast protection. But despite the heavy weight from the bulletproof materials, the car could still reach speeds of over 120 miles an hour, making it a safe yet perfect getaway God forbid the situation gets out of hand. The former Prime Minister's car probably felt more appropriate carrying around the likes of James Bond than it did a head of state. But then again, she was the top VIP in the country at the time. This sleek tank that is the Jaguar XJ Sentinel only cost her about $310,000, and then there's the rest of the convoy in tow. She's followed by three Range Rover Sports, which cost a total of about $225,000. These Range Rovers carry around not only her fellow colleagues and staff members, but also plenty of security. The Range Rover is a British car and royalty in its own right, not to mention fast and stylish. Following those Range Rovers in the convoy are four 2016 BMW R1200 RTP motorcycles. The Brits do really know how to do it, seeing as how they practically invented class. The police ride on the BMWs to scout her path ahead of time and to keep the roads clear of any crowd members that might get a little too crazy. 
All four BMWs are running up a total bill of about 60 grand, and the Prime Minister's convoy is a prime example that you can keep things safe and luxurious and still use the taxpayer's money wisely. Number 12. Chancellor Olaf Scholz's Mercedes 680 Guard Angela Merkel may have had a great vehicle, but her successor, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's Mercedes 680 Guard, kicks things up to 11. This jet black German limo may look the same, but this new and improved vehicle weighs 4.6 tons, thanks to the 2.5 tons worth of body armor keeping everyone inside safe and sound from any potential threats. Even the windshield on this car weighs over 250 pounds. This Mercedes 680 Guard is built with the highest grade of VR10, which means that the car can withstand a full-on attack from assault rifles and even explosives. It has countermeasures for smoke attacks, and the car can even run on flat tires if it has to. This is an incredibly customized vehicle for the most important person in Germany. It's built with a 6-liter V12 engine that delivers a hefty 600 horsepower and a 9-speed automatic transmission, and it's even the first of its kind to have a 4-matic all-wheel drive. Just because it's a heavy limo doesn't mean it needs to be slow and clunky. The original civilian Mercedes 680 Guard is priced around $650,000. But the price of Schultz's custom job is unknown to the public. Number 11. Xi Jinping's Hongqi L5 China's Xi Jinping's Hongqi L5 is the height of luxury when it comes to Chinese automobiles. In total, there are five in his convoy, adding up to a grand total of about $4 million, making them the most expensive cars in the country. The Hongqi L5 is powered by a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine, producing 380 horsepower with an 8-speed automatic. Xi Jinping has his own motorcade or convoy to keep him safe when he hits the road for major events and meetings with fellow heads of state. He may not be driving in a custom automobile like some other world leaders do, but it's still pretty pricey. First and foremost, the convoy is led by the state police, with their motorcycles, cars, and vans leading the way as their sirens light up the streets. Dozens of police drive by to present the convoy of unmarked black cars, but only one flies the five-starred red flag or the national flag of the People's Republic of China. The police are riding their Haozhou GW250J motorcycles, with each bike costing about 14 grand each. And that's not to mention the dozens of less flashy cars and vans carrying his security and cabinet, and even an ambulance, just in case. Number 10. President Emmanuel Macron DS7 Crossback French President Emmanuel Macron is the country's first leader to have the DS7 Crossback as their official car, and this one is absolutely awesome. While so many of his global counterparts are riding around in limousines, Macron is chauffeured around in an SUV. So what makes this Crossback so special? Well, for starters, it's longer than its civilian counterpart, and of course, totally bulletproof. But Macron is a champion for the environment, and so this 4x4 vehicle is fitted with an E-Tense plug-in hybrid powertrain. Two electric motors and a 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine deliver a nice 300 horsepower as well. And so while this certainly isn't the fastest presidential vehicle in the world, it's perhaps one of the most eco-friendly and allows the French president to really practice what he preaches. One of the newer presidential vehicles to be produced, the Macron's DS7 Crossback debuted in November of 2021, and while the civilian model went for $74,000, there's no doubt that Macron's personal suite has an exponentially larger price tag. Number 9. Naruhito's Toyota Century Royal Japan, it has no shortage of amazing cars. From Mazda to Acura to Toyota, the country offers some of the best models in the world. But despite the greatness, the Japanese emperor is still able to stand out in his ride. For years, the emperor and empress of Japan have been riding in the back of a special version of the awesome Toyota Century sedan, known as the Century Royal. These cars have some of the nicest features for any vehicle and truly feel like they're fit for royalty. Emperor Naruhito is greeted with the granite entry steps before sitting back in the wool upholstery and looking up at the delicate rice paper headliner. And the best part about this vehicle is that there's more than one, each one serving a specific purpose for various occasions, with the standout model being the convertible Naruhito rode in for his 2019 coronation. Of course, each iteration of the Century Royal is outfitted with plenty of defensive countermeasures, many of which, though, are not disclosed to the public. But seeing as how the Emperor is one of the most important people in Japan, you can rest assured that this is the safest car in the country. The models all come with a big V8 engine, but are still supplemented by a hybrid system to make them a little easier on the environment. 
Number 8. Prince Al Walid's Boeing 747 When it comes to wealth, no one can really beat the royal family of Saudi Arabia. Altogether, they amassed a fortune of about a trillion dollars. And while they have a whole fleet of planes that rival mansions, the crown jewel of the country's leader is his private Boeing 747. Prince Al Walid bought the private aircraft in 2003 for $485 million, which for him is pretty much nothing. But when he first purchased it, it wasn't all up to his standards, so he had it remodeled and refitted to look more like the palaces he's used to living in. While the leader of the country typically uses their airplane for the purposes of business, this is more of a home in the sky. There are multiple luxurious bedrooms and full bathrooms, a dining area that seats 14, lounges, a large chandelier, and gold trim everywhere. Oh, and since he's a prince, he can't forget his throne. That's right, there's a throne room on board the Saudi Prince's Boeing 747 to remind him that wherever he goes, he's royalty. Number 7. Angela Merkel's Armored Audi A8 all right, next on our list is another budget vehicle, and this one's even cheaper than Theresa May's, but still advanced and luxurious, and exemplifies the progress made in German automobile engineering. Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel is being escorted in her convoy in a $125,000 Audi A8. It comes equipped with plenty of secret security features, but one that's been made public is state-of-the-art bulletproof glass that's almost unnoticeable from the inside. So Merkel is staying safe and stylish all at the same time. She's being followed by lots of different vehicles in her convoy, but one that really stands out is the BMW 5 Series, which costs just around 40000 The rest of Chancellor Merkel's entourage can get in one of three Mercedes V-Classes that run the cabinet over $150,000 in total. The Mercedes V-Class holds up to seven people at a time, so her staff and security detail have plenty of room to hop out and come to her rescue. Plus, the Mercedes V-Class is keeping up with the times and is engineered to leave behind a smaller carbon footprint. Number 6. Narendra Modi's Mercedes Maybach S650 Guard while he used to ride around in a Range Rover Vogue and Toyota Land Cruiser, the Prime Minister of India now rides in his Mercedes Maybach S650 Guard. This luxurious vehicle became part of Narendra Modi's fleet in December of 2021 and became the official vehicle of the Indian Prime Minister's security detail. It is a great car on its own, but when it comes to security, this presidential model of the Mercedes Maybach S650 takes the cake it's got a VR10 level of ballistic protection, the highest grade for a civilian vehicle. Both the body shell and glass housing can withstand an absurd 15 kilograms worth of TNT explosives from as close as 6 feet and can withstand fire from military rifles. In fact, the doors alone are so heavy that they require an electric motor to open and close. The X650 Guard is also built with its 6-liter V12 engine, delivering an output of 650 horsepower, and the fuel tank is completely self-sealing. Modi can also count on the internal emergency fresh air system to keep the interior safe from gas and chemical attacks. While no one knows the true price tag, the S650 Guard allegedly cost the Indian government well over $1.6 million, making it quite the upgrade from his older, less exciting vehicle. Number 5. Scott Morrison's BMW 7 Series The former Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison got around in style in his white BMW 7 Series sedan fitted with the iconic nose-mounted Aussie flag. While the entire list of the car's bells and whistles have been kept private even after he left office, most reports have agreed that it could top three levels of the high-security certified vehicles under VR4, 6, and 9 which is pretty crazy, because Morrison's BMW 7 Series can protect the occupants from gas and chemical attacks, rifle fire, and even grenade attacks thanks to its 10cm thick armor plates and 6cm thick polycarbonate windows. Even if someone managed to shoot out the tires, the BMW 7 Series can still hit a top speed of 50 miles an hour safely. This vehicle has a 6-liter twin-turbo V12 engine that produces a whopping 560 horsepower, going from 0 to 60 in 6 seconds, which is pretty impressive considering the car weighs over 4 tons. This is another presidential vehicle that provides emergency oxygen support, a self-sealing fuel tank, and even has onboard firefighting capabilities. BMW will even outfit the windscreen of the 7 Series with explosives, which blast out during an emergency to make for a quick escape. Number 4. Kim Jong-un's Mercedes-Benz S600 Pullman Guard 
North Korea's Kim Jong-un has the most interesting motorcades in the world hands down. He makes quite the spectacle with the members of his elite guard quite literally running next to the car at all times. And while that is a fun story on its own, it's his car that I'm more interested in here today. Kim Jong-un is riding around in his Mercedes-Benz S600 Pullman Guard when he's moving between public appearances and press conferences, and it's probably one of, if not the nicest cars in the entire country. The man is, after all, all about appearances. Kim's Mercedes is powered by a 500-horsepower twin-turbocharged 5.5-liter V12 engine, but the car is absolutely massive at about 21 feet long and weighing 5.5 tons thanks to the fully armored protection, which includes integrated steel protection panels inside the body and overlapping protection panels in the critical areas of the vehicle. Even the floors are armored to protect Kim from bomb blasts, and the ultra-thick laminated glass windows have all been coated with polycarbonate on the inside to prevent them from splintering. Pretty much nothing is getting through this behemoth vehicle. Mercedes has even said that their Pullman Guard is certified at Resistance Class VR9 and blast-proof to comply with the ERV 2010 standards. And while this car is incredibly tough, it is kind of beautiful on the inside with reclining captain's chairs and a rear cabin that's been fitted with rearward-facing jump seats to increase its capacity. The S600 Pullman Guard is listed for over $1.5 million in Germany, so just imagine how much this presidential version must have cost. Number 3. Queen Elizabeth's Bentley State Limousine It's good to be the queen. Queen Elizabeth has been sitting on her throne since 1952, and she's had plenty of quality vehicles at her disposal during that time. But this one has got to be the best she's ever driven. The Queen doesn't go out very often, but when she does, she tends to ride around in her killer Bentley State limo. Only two of these elongated limos exist, and both of them were gifted to Her Majesty in 2002 for the 50th anniversary of her ascension to the throne. The Bentley limo is just slightly longer than the Bentley Arnage, and it's fitted with a 6.7-liter V8 engine, cranking out about 400 horsepower. As you would come to expect, these two-of-a-kind Bentleys are bullet and blast-proof, and the cabins are completely airtight. But these cars are big, and the Queen is small, which is why the most unique features found in her steel chariots are the doors that are tall enough for the Queen to stand before stepping out. They've also been made so that the Queen can be seen by passers-by from any angle as she's being chauffeured down the road. Of course, this isn't the only car in her possession, but the Bentley State limousines are easily the coolest in her garage. Number 2. Sultan of Brunei's Rolls-Royce Silver Spur II The Sultan of Brunei is known around the world for his massive car collection, encompassing about $5 billion worth of vehicles. It's said that he owns 380 Bentleys and another 600 Rolls Royces, many of which are diamond-encrusted or gold-plated. But his Silver Spur II is still somehow his flashiest. Rolls Royce produced their Silver Spur from 1989 to 1993, but the Sultan of Brunei ordered his own custom version for his wedding day. Not only did he request it to be a stretch limousine, but he also wanted it plated with 24 karat gold. The Sultan bought the car in 1996, and despite the ornate detail that went into it alongside the gold plating, it doesn't get much use. As it turns out, the Sultan of Brunei likes to go fast, and this Rolls-Royce Silver Spur is all about the look, meaning the only way for onlookers to appreciate it is to drive nice and slow. There was once a time when the Sultan of Brunei was the richest person in the world, which is how he was able to afford this $14 million future piece of automobile history. Number 1. The Beast Also known as the First Car, or its codename Stagecoach, the Beast is the limousine belonging to the President of the United States, whoever that may be at the time. This jet black limo was designed and built by Cadillac and allegedly cost around $16 million. A new and improved version of the 2009 model, the Beast is fully armored and hermetically sealed against any possible attack. The exterior walls are 200 millimeters thick, the glass 130 millimeters thick, and a 5-inch thick body, which brings the vehicle's curb weight to about 9 tons. This vehicle really lives up to that name, because the majority of the car is outfitted with military-grade armor capable of withstanding the largest bullets in production. 
and the doors are 8 inches thick and weigh the equivalent of the cabin door of a Boeing 747 jet. Literally nothing is getting in here without the president's say. But the cool stuff doesn't stop there, because the beast's fuel tank is protected by an explosion prevention foam and can withstand a direct hit from an RPG. And the Kevlar reinforced tires can't be damaged by projectiles or blasts. This limo also has a secure environmental system that keeps everyone inside safe from chemicals and gas attacks and a steady oxygen supply, and it even carries an emergency blood supply with the president's blood type as well. And while this vehicle is well equipped for defense, it does have some offensive capabilities, including pump action shotguns, tear gas launchers, and a night vision camera, and even an oil slick. Watch our vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.